Oh, you know, you know I'm freaking representing. <laughs> the lighting's good because it's shining bright on the freaking greatness right here in front of you. But you know what? Most importantly, I got you beautiful people out there. The fellas. Oh, I know you're looking sharp. And the ladies. Oh, my beautiful cheerleaders. I appreciate you for being in the building because you know what? We are once again upon sneaker profiles. But this time, we're doing 112, 112. I appreciate you for coming into the building, for blessing this channel with your beautiful eyes. But you know what? I'm blessing you with this beautiful shoe and then also Mr. 104 in front of you. I appreciate each and every one of you, like I said, for stepping and coming into the freaking channel and coming into the freaking factory and watching me display some beautiful shoes. Shoes that no one's probably freaking talking about anymore because, you know, they've been release so much far down the road that people have forgot about them but you know what this channel basically regenerates those shoes once again and brings out the beauty and shows you them because no one's talking about them and like i always say none of my my channel does not get very many views when it comes to you know the numbers when it comes to pickups or anything like that because i'm not showing the latest and the greatest shoes. I'm not showing, I'm not an idiot that's spending a ton of money just so I can deliver you an early release. <laughs> that's not gonna happen here unless I get early access to on the sneaker app. That's when I would show you something really new and up close. Or if for whatever reason, I just land, get an early pair of shoes, which hardly ever happens. So what you're gonna be getting from this channel in case you're tuning in for the first time, you're gonna basically get some education as far as some older shoes go, but also just, let's just revisit some old shoes that people have forgot about, people that no one's really talking about, but if you put them on feet, they're gonna be freaking looking because you're not gonna be wearing what everybody else is gonna be wearing. You're actually wearing something different and actually something that that's just has a lot more respect because it's an older shoe Therefore, that shows that you're an older sneakerhead or you were into the game at our past <laughs> past year. So I appreciate you. This is what this freaking channel is all about is basically putting, shedding some beautiful light on some older shoes that I have in my sneaker factory. And I feel like they're just shoes that are amazing in their own way. And let's go ahead and talk about these ones. I did a live back in of this year actually and we're heading we're almost heading into that new year but we could still call this year 2022 i did a live back then and i want to say in february 17th talking about the air jordan 3 because the air jordan 3 is my favorite air jordan model i absolutely love this shoe i love the elephant print as you can tell and i love just the comfort and the overall look of this shoe and how it looks so amazing when it comes to myself and I'm sure it looks amazing on you. God, I hope. So let's talk about this fit first. So what you see right here is an older tee. Like I said, if you missed the past video, I bought this tee like, I want to say 10, 12 years ago. And it still looks freaking amazing. But you definitely have all the Air Jordan line right here, one through five. This brand is called PFK. Playing for keeps. It's just an older, I don't even know if the brand's still around. But you do got the Air Jordan 1, the Air Jordan 2, the Air Jordan 3. You see the elephant print. I still can't see. I don't know what this pattern is on the two. But of course, the Air Jordan 4. Love the cement print. And then the Air Jordan 5. And that's basically that guard on the 5 that the 5 is so famous for. So looking amazing. And then also I got this. I, wanted, I can't even call this new because I picked it up so long ago. But it's not an original Air Jordan 3 jacket, but it's pretty damn close to how, how the old school used to look. But you de definitely see the elephant print hits right there on the collar or on the, yeah, on the collar, the Air Jordan right there. Just, this is just a classic jacket. I'm keeping it relaxed because I'm supposed to go hang out with some ladies in a little bit. Not We're not going to go catch any type of fancy dinner because you know. I would not be dressing like this when it comes to having a fancy dinner, but basically just chilling, 
relaxing and enjoying this beautiful December with the ladies. But let's go ahead and take a look at this beautiful shoe right here. Oh, and you know what? Floyd, Mr. Wonderful is a man's man, but this shoe right here, it was a female release, a girl's release. But I had to pick it up because I thought this colorway was just amazing. And you know what? If it wasn't meant for any men to pick up, they wouldn't have a freaking size 12 as far as the limit goes when it comes to this specific shoe right here. So they had a size 12. So in case you're not aware, a woman's size 12 or a woman's size is a one size and a half from a man. Drop it down. So if you take away a half a um, size and a half from a 12, what do you get? You get a freaking 10 and a half right there. So boom, size 12, men's 10 and a half right here. Woman's, I know, I know, I don't buy women's very often, but this one, I had to make an exception. But let's take a look right here. $190. So this shoe, I actually, I purchased this shoe on eBay. I did not get win it on the sneaker app. I don't even think I went for it on the sneakers app. I didn't purchase it on StockX. Let me go back. The uh, Cool Gray, that was purchased on the sneaker app. I actually hit on that, which is was a good time for myself because uh, I love, one, I love early access when it comes to shoes, but I love hitting for retail when it comes to shoes, just like I'm sure all you guys out there are. But this one, like, he, like I said, was uh, eBay pickup. So look at that box. You do got that orange... Yellow Jumpman right there. I don't know what you want to call it, but we'll see what they call it in, in the name right here. So this is white, black, laser orange. So let's just go with the laser orange. And then on this one, definitely got that elephant print. As you can see right there, elephant print paper, which I absolutely love. Here we go. Let's take a look at this beautiful shoe. A freaking gem right here. Even though it is not an original colorway, it's still a freaking gem. I'm not a Lakers fan. Trust me by, no, by, <laughs> just trust me. I can't stand the Lakers, but this is definitely Lakers colors. That's not why I bought it. I just love just how it looks. So here we go. The Air Jordan 3 laser orange right here. Beautiful colorway. Beautiful shoe. I love, don't, don't you love how this elephant print pops? Just freaking amazing right there. So, Originally released, this dropped back in August 20th of 2020. Retail price on this was $190, just like the Cool Gray. That was $190. But this, like I said, this was a woman's release. But um, but it perfect timing for Mr. Wonderful. Perfect shoe size for Mr. Wonderful. The largest size you could get in this shoe was a 12. Like I said, drop it down a size and a half and you, get, you got yourself a 10 and a half. So here we go. That's why I was able to pick this one up. Absolutely love the materials. Beautiful tumble leather. Just amazing. I love that laser orange hit on the eyelets. And then that beautiful orange or laser orange right here on the outsole. Of course, this beautiful, very vibrant elephant print right here. Another just beautiful. Of course, you got the jump man. I would not want the Nike Air on this shoe because it's not our original colorway. Beautiful. Here's the medial side. Nothing changes from the from the lateral side. Of course, DS because I just have not had a chance to wear this. Beautiful laser orange jump man right there. Love it. Love it. Love it. Love it. Just, I mean, come on. Doesn't the Air Jordan 3 just hit differently? I mean, let me know. Drop a comment down below. Laser orange on the on the uh, reverse side of the tongue. And of course, you got the laser orange on the insole. And you know right here, all white sock liner. So you know when you wear this freaking shoe, you have to wear a pair of white socks because you definitely do not want to get this dyed. Also, be careful when you wear that, when you wear those dark denim. You shouldn't be wearing dark denim when it comes to this shoe. But in, in case you do, for whatever reason, it's going to bleed on this. So be careful with that if you do have them. And you have not worn them yet. If you have and you've done all that, that sucks to be you because you know exactly what I just said just happened to you.
Beautiful shoe right here, though. What do you think about this shoe? I know, like I said, it's a woman's release. I get it. But, I mean, come on. You know it's beautiful. How many people out there, the fellas, fellas, I'm talking to you first because I know this is a woman's release. How do you feel about this shoe? Is this in your collection? Is it not? Look at that white right there, white leather. Oh, that beautiful tumble leather. I love the tumble leather on the on the toe box. Just beautiful, beautiful, beautiful. My ladies, my cheerleaders out there. How do you feel about this shoe? Is this in your collection? Because this is made for the beautiful ladies out there. Is this one in your collection or did you pass? Or did you not just not aware of it? Let me know, drop a comment down below. I would love to hear it. But sneaker profiles, 112 right here, just a beautiful 112. And I'm looking forward to showing you sneaker profiles, 113 in a couple days. But I forgot to mention last time, Floyd on YouTube is just too sweet. I'll catch you in a couple days. Sneaker Profiles 113 is on its way. Hope to see you there.